Hey Keepers, today we're going to take a look at a quick session I had with some of the youth Keepers that trained with me in Shoe Talk. In this session I used the M Station talent to warm up the Keepers hands. The rebound makes it good for a fun catching game. If you or your partner drop the ball, you would have to switch with the other two players. In this session we are going to focus more on footwork and diving form with a little bit of positioning. To start, I set up a small diamond where the keeper waits in a diving position with their fingers touching the top cone. When I yell set, I want the keeper to try to get up as fast as possible without using their hands if they can. Once up, the keeper will shuffle around the diamond to the opposite cone to receive a diving service, where they should end in a diving position mirroring the one at the beginning of the drill. Like any other skill, diving and goalkeeping has a lot to do with muscle memory. That's why I have my keeper set up in an initial diving position on the ground to make sure they know what their body shape should be like during a dive and to help ingrain the form into the muscles and making it more comfortable to fall into the correct diving position. Getting up without your hands is an intense core workout that keepers should always do. It will help you learn how to swing your body around and strengthen the core muscles that are used to get up. The cone should also help the keeper visualize forward diagonal angles that they must take in their dive. No one should be landing behind the cone. Next I move on to a simple footwork and receiving drill. All you have to do is line up four cones in a straight line towards the six yard box and to start you have the keepers do a quick shuffle in between the cones and then set in the best position possible to react for a shot. Variation is always welcome. You can switch to footwork up by adding jumping or one footed hops to help build muscle and balance. Make sure to keep, give the keeper a quick second to get keeper ready once they finish the footwork portion and punish them if they give you an easy angle on goal. Lots of goalkeepers use and love this drill because it doesn't require much more than four cones and a kicker. Footwork is a huge part in goalkeeping since you need to be able to get in position quick enough and in the proper body shape so that you do have a chance to make your save. Quick agility drills that cover movement in and around the goalkeeper box will help make those scrambling saves possible. Once the goalkeeper finishes the agility portion, they make the decision on how far they will step up and when to get keeper ready. The shot should come soon after they finish their footwork and they are still breathing hard. Don't break the rhythm by making them wait too long. And then I end with the same diamond formation that we started with, but stretched out to the point in front of a full sized goal. Here I'm trying to create a visual similarity and help the keepers learn how they can gauge the distance in goal by visualizing the corners and angles. To start, the keeper will go from the back center cone to the far post cone and into a central position best uh, chosen by them to stop the oncoming shot. Anything coming on the inside of those cones are going to be goals and the keeper can see it coming and can visualize the path that is going into the net. I love using the diamond because it makes it very easy to explain angles and how to cut them off to keepers. This diamond helps the keeper run the length of his angles and decide where to stop to set up for a shot. Thanks guys for taking the time to watch the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you again and I'll see you all in the next video. What a day!